Today we're going to show you how to use feedback from encoders to control robot movement. We're going to talk about what an encoder is, discuss a sample program that uses encoders, load the program to the robot, run the program to see how it works, and then learn where you can find additional lessons where you can learn more about shaft encoders. So what is an encoder? An encoder in robotics is used in order to measure wheel rotations. You can see this in this VEX robot the encoder is connected to the outside of the wheel. With LEGO robots the encoder is built into the LEGO smart motors. In our virtual robots that we'll be using later on in this course the encoder is built into the virtual robot and then you can see an example of an industrial encoder uh, right here where you've got an LED, a light emitting diode, you've got a phototransistor and basically what happens is as that light goes uh, through these little holes, it, it counts. We're going to end up opening up a program that's called Moving Forward for Two Rotations. The uh, pragma statements are already set up at the top. You've got your comments listed here, and then we'll take a look at the actual code. When we go to do this, we're going to be opening up Robot C. We'll open a sample program. There are probably 150 different sample programs inside the sample program folder. Once we open up the sample program folder, we're going to go to the virtual world folders. And once we go to the virtual world folder, we're going to open up the folder called shaft encoders. And you'll see there's four different programs in there. The nice thing about using these particular uh, programs is they are already configured for you. The sample code uh, that we will be using, uh, we'll be able to use a light sensor, encoders, compass, compass sensor, touch sensor, sonar sensor. The code all also has uh, all of the comments so that if you're brand new to programming, you can actually take a look at the comments and the comments will allow you to learn what the program is going to do. And then this is the actual code. And with this code, uh, we're going to start with task main. Uh, we're going to wait for 2,000 milliseconds or one or two seconds. Anytime we use encoders, we're going to have to clear the value of the uh, encoders. So we're going to set them both to zero. And then while the sensor value of the left encoder is less than 720 degrees or less than two rotations, then we're going to execute whatever's inside these curly braces. And so that's going to make the right motor and the left motor move forward at 63 power. So let's begin. Let's close this out. And I'm going to open up my Robot C Virtual World uh, program. So let's begin by opening up the sample program. We'll go to the sample programs. We'll select that. We'll go to Virtual Worlds. We're going to go to shaft encoder, and then we're going to go forward for two rotations. The program comes up, and uh, it's just as we suggested. Everything that we need is right there. Let's make sure that we've targeted the right uh, target. Yes, we want to set this up so that we're targeting a virtual world, not a physical robot. And then the next thing we want to do is make sure that we have the right uh, virtual world. We're going to use the VEX Gateway Challenge practice board. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to select Robot, Compile and Download Program. And I'm ready to download. I'm going to be using SquareBot. I'm going to allow this to be set up so that I've got the red team at the bottom. I'm going to leave the gates down to begin this game and let's begin the activity. So this uh, robot is set up. When it comes time for me to hit play, I'm going to hit play. Remember the program waits for two seconds. It's going to move forward for two rotations and then it's going to stop. Let's replay this and let's take a look at this right here. But we're looking at a plan view, so we're looking down from the top. We will play this again. 
it'll wait for two seconds and then it would begin and go forward until it stops. I can also set this up if I wanted to run this again exactly from where it's at and it looks like I have plenty of room to do that if I were to run this again and I hit play it'll wait for two seconds and then it'll stop. Let's reset this and what I would like to do is uh, eventually I want to get to a point where I'm going to be able to navigate over to here uh, in this area right here and maybe knock this blue uh, ball up, down. So just a quick review if you want to if you want better resources uh, where you can actually uh, go through a, in a step-by-step -step manner how to use encoders what you would do is you go to robotc.net once you go to robotc.net on the very front page you can go to the curriculum this particular uh, curricular piece is set up so that it uh, is the Cortex Video Trainer. In the movement section what we would do is uh, you can go through these step by step. It'll show you how to make the motors move, how to change the speed and direction, and then give you much more detail on how shaft encoders work. Um, there's There are helper pages, there are challenges, so we're going to stop right now, and in the next lesson, we're going to go forward, and then we will turn. Thank you.